Hi everyone, I'm Rani and today I'll be cooking a very special dish called Karai chicken with fenugreek. Fenugreek gives you a beautiful taste with, to the curry and I often cook this dish at home on a regular basis. So let's take you and introduce you to the uh, ingredients today that what we have, what we're going to use. So we have some tomatoes and ginger, we have a coriander powder, we have Kashmiri chili powder, we have turmeric and we have chili powder, we have cumin powder, we have a black pepper powder, we also have a ginger paste, garlic paste, we have salt, we have some a dry fenugreek powder, we have coriander leaves, we have some green chilies here and we have some a Greek yogurt, we have oil and we have a boneless chicken 1 kg. So let's start cooking. First of all we're going to need a quarter cup of oil. Then we're going to need one tablespoon of ginger and we're going to need one teaspoon of garlic. So we're just going to mix well. We're going to mix everything together for about two, three minutes. We're not going to make it brown or anything like that, we're just, just going to cook it for about 2-3 minutes and after that, straight away that we're going to pour chicken. Chicken is ready to go into the pan. We need to have our gas in a medium flame. Minutes or so and now we're gonna we're gonna put all the masalas, all the spices now. So we have coriander powder one one and a half tablespoon we have Kashmiri powder that actually just gives you the color one one tablespoon okay. half teaspoon of turmeric chili powder one tablespoon cumin one teaspoon one teaspoon of crushed black pepper. Now we're gonna stir everything well. So we stir it for about two, three minutes and we're gonna cover it. Okay, we're gonna need to cut some uh, tomatoes. This is all ready now. Okay. 
So we just mix uh, two tomatoes in there and we're going to cook it um, medium gas for another about five minutes or so. We're going to cover it until the tomato gets soft, tender. We need to now, you can see this is what's um, almost uh, the tomatoes have actually gone soft and we need to um, up our gas on a little bit more higher than so we need to really get it all the gravy dry quickly so this will take about another five to six minutes so we've got the high gas on we're gonna stir and make sure all the tomatoes and everything it's all um, gone soft Right, the gas is high on we're going to cook it for about five to six minutes until the water gets dry okay, so as soon as the water gets dry so we've got a high heat on so it will get dry very quickly within the next five to six minutes and then we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients left which is the just the yogurt and um, fenugreek dry fenugreek left Now I'm going to add a few uh, ingredients that just been left, a few, few, few things that we need to add. So I like to put my salt um, in, in the middle of the cooking. So I'm just going to add one teaspoon of salt. And salt you can always add uh, according to your family um, what they like. And we're going to add some fenugreek, a dry fenugreek. So we're going to add two tablespoons. That's enough. Okay. And now we're going to add yogurt, which is, I measured it, it's one cup of yogurt, Greek yogurt. We need to use a very good quality one, a nice one. And you can see the consistency is, is a, it looks a little bit runny, but it will get dry within the next five minutes or so. And it's almost done. We're not gonna cover it, we're just gonna leave it without the lid. Okay, I've got, I'm just gonna use one green chili. I don't wanna make it too spicy for the children. So I've got a handful of coriander I've cut finely chopped and I've got one green chili I've cut and I'm going to use some ginger. I'm just peeling the ginger off. It's just for garnishing. It's optional. You don't have to do it. It's, they call it Julian cut. So, I'm gonna cut it very finely. So, Everything is ready now. So we've got a handful of coriander leaves, are finely chopped, and I've got one green chili, and we've got just a little bit of um, ginger cut into small, I sliced it into small pieces, therefore garnishing. You can see it's almost ready. It's all mixed very well and it's looking very nice. 
So the consistency has to be like this. We know you can keep it dry or you can make it a little bit more runny, but we like it like this. You can eat it with uh, rice, naan, pita bread, as you wish. So it's ready now. We'll put it into a serving bowl. Okay, so we're just gonna garnish with some coriander leaves. Chilies. and some ginger. So this is our dish, karai chicken with fenugreek. It's all ready, ready to be served.